Depression, an emotion that could take control of our daily lives and prevent us from moving forward. The feeling of sadness lurks inside and holds onto our spirit with immense gravity. We can only think about the worst when the worst happens. It's like a record on replay. It's hard to break the vicious cycle once it starts. The haunting thoughts melt through our souls and leave us with emotional pain and discomfort, discoloring our vision and only viewing the past as the present. The dangers of being stuck in the past is that you go nowhere. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. There's only darkness that surrounds. What was once light is no more. The door closes on what used to be. Another door opens, not just for the future, but for the present. It's a delicate place to be in since every decision you make is important for your future. It's critical to make the right moves. It's like the game of chess. If you have plenty of moves to make in the beginning before you start losing pieces, the whole point of the game is to strategize, move forward, and defeat what's in front of you, regardless of what is lost. Same with life. You may run into some unexpected turns and lose yourself, but that doesn't mean the game is over. Your existence still remains on this planet Earth until everything is completely lost. I don't think anyone should feel like it's all over. Everyone gets stressed out when it falls apart, but it doesn't help when you put more despair on your plate. Having hope is one thing, but rebuilding the way you think is better. Our mental thoughts and mixed feelings can get the best of us at some point where we become destructive. And trust me, I've been there and done that. I felt like I lost it all at some point. My soul was so weak it would easily break apart like brittle bone disease. It was easy for me to break down whenever there was a dark cloud hovering over my head. An endless amount of rain is a tear into despair. Being human is like being a sponge. There's so much crap that we can absorb to all hell breaks loose. The power of emotion can cause us to be reckless towards ourselves and others. At times I may feel depressed, but it's not as bad as it may seem. Viewing what's happening on the other side of the world is tragic and far worse than what I'm going through. Innocent lives are being taken away because of someone's emotion, which is unfair. In life, nothing is fair. We just have to deal the hands that we are dealt. Sally, some people have it worse than others and I wish the best for them. Being where I am, looking at the right direction and not being distracted on little things that don't matter anymore is key. What already happened, happened. It's about planning the next move. I was all about that. It was just hard when things start to fall repetitively on you. It's hard to get back up. Getting arrested two times within a year. I never thought I'd get myself in handcuffs again. I was wrong. Spending all my money on lawyers was outrageous. I haven't felt so broke like this in a long time that each paycheck I earn goes towards all the nonsense I created. I even got to a dangerous accident on the highway with black ice. Lucky to be alive to this day. I didn't take the bus for nine months, so what? The only problem was paying double fare for a one-way ticket. Just because I live in the outside skirts of Toronto, they would charge me extra for going through another city region. The difficulty arises as I got kicked out the house. A young man trying to find a place to stay with bad credit was unbearable. Literally, Airbnbs were the only option. Call me crazy, but I tried many times to get a place. I was just never enough. Money's money, but it was sad not to have much friends around. I felt like I lost so many due to alcohol. Alcohol is a powerful liquid that could turn any relationship sour. The root of my problems were the cause of it. If I haven't drank so much, would my life be different? I always question myself about that, but that wasn't the answer. The answer was responsibility. A simple word that was easy to understand, but difficult for me to execute. I can't blame anyone but myself. Taking responsibility for your own mistakes is the biggest part of growing, no matter how big or small the issue is. We can all be blindsided by our own thoughts and tough ego. Settling down and having a deep part of our mind focused on positive energy can make you see things. Time is everything when it comes to healing as long as you put the right bandit on it. Put the wrong one, the pain will remain. I was in the deep end of the pool with depression the past nine months. Nothing but clouded thoughts with a stretch of rain. A rolling thunderstorm with flashbacks that would remind me of then. The feeling would become so automatic that there was no hope of feeling joy. I guess having some people around does soothe your pain, but it doesn't defeat the demon inside. It doesn't help neither if you don't address yourself in a positive manner. It's like choosing the worst outfit to wear throughout the day with no care. There's one thing I did pick up from anger management. Self-affirmation. Rebuilding the way you think about yourself is very important. It creates integrity. Only putting yourself down will make things worse. The way you influence yourself will be the way you live. Carrying your thoughts in the right direction will change the way you walk. Why do we dwell on the same stories over and over again? Because we're so emotionally grasped by the pain that lies beneath us. Our feelings project on how we think. What if we could change those thoughts to feel better? It's possible. 
There's one thing that we all got inside us that we don't notice. Realization. Only realization plays a key role in change. And changes everything. Once you're finding your way through the mist, your thoughts will be clearer than a crystal ball. You don't need a fortune teller to scope up your path and see what lies ahead. We all need to learn how to deal with depression ourselves. This is the only way we can really change. Others can be a helping hand, but the biggest influence is yourself. That's what most of us don't see, since you're so affected by everything else that doesn't matter. What's important is doing the things that you love, because one day you might not get the chance to do it again. Our time and space move forward as it expands to great lengths without any remorse of what's left behind. We should do the same. No one stays sad forever. Enjoy your life. That would change everything. I have to say, there's a lot of beautiful places in this world. Explore. Take some time to breathe in Mother Nature. We only live once and embrace your life. We might not have another opportunity to see another one.